Hey guys, welcome back. This is part something of the Sub-Zero Pixel Art tutorial. That's right, I don't know what part we're on because I've been doing many parts lately. And not just of Sub-Zero, of other stuff. So we're going to start off by working inside of his... What is this supposed to be? Like a pendant or something? His symbol? His clan symbol? Uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on that first. That's going to involve a lot of gray. So we're going to have to switch over... A lot of gray and all the blues, actually. So let's just start off easy. We're we'll switch over to the cyan stained clay. We're going to start from the bottom of these symbols, starting down here. On top of these five black wolves, we're going to be placing five cyan clays. So let's just place them five like that. Now we're going to go, let's say, up to the right. But before we do that, to make our lives a lot easier, we're going to switch over to the gray wall. And with the gray wall, we're going to move to... Let's say these two black wolves that are going across that are making contact with the six diagonal uh, of the black wolves here. Let's go to these two black wolves starting on top of the right block. So starting from there, we're going to be placing six gray wolves going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And then we're going to be placing four sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one. 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. So that's four sets of twos. Now we're going to switch back over to the cyan stained clay. So let's switch back to that block. Let's head all the way back down here, where we started from. Uh, we're going to start on top of these two black wolves. And what we're going to be doing is just tracing the outline going all the way up. And we're going to stop on top of these two gray wolves here. And just going to put one cyan clay there, because we're not going to place two. We're just going to be placing one. So that's our stopping point. We're not going to be placing anything past that. So let's go back down here, and now we're going to be tracing the outline with the cyan clay. And there we go. Very nice and easy. So now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the stone block so let's switch over to the stone block and let's head back up here where we left off with this one cyan clay we're going to be placing six stone blocks going up so that's one two three four five six and once you've done that we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall so let's switch over to the light gray wall and we're just going to continue the path going up to the left. We're going to be placing two of them going diagonal up to the up to the left. So two diagonal. That's one and two. Now once you've done that with the light gray wool, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. And we're going to be placing one block going up to the left. That's one. Even though I think I said right for this. It's the left. <laughs> I feel like I said right for these two. Mom's sake. All right. So, of course, this is going to the left. Now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now let's switch back over to the light gray wool, and we're going to be placing uh, two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan stained clay. And we're going to start underneath this light gray wool here. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three of them going diagonal down to the... Down to the right, so it's three diagonal, that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Now from here, starting underneath this clay block, so starting from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching over to the stone block, and we're going to be adding two stone blocks going across to the right, on the right side of it, so that's one and two. Now, starting underneath the right block of these two, so starting from there, we're going to be placing four, uh, not four, five blocks going across to the left. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And everything should look exactly like this. 
So go ahead and pause the video now if you need to just to compare. And I'm going <laughs> as you may have noticed, I am kind of rushing through this part only because I want to get out of the whole mess of this with all of this line and detailing so we can finally start filling in the larger parts. So, yeah, if by now, like I've mentioned before, I believe I mentioned this in the previous video, uh, if you made it this far, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to keep up. I'm confident in your abilities to follow. Okay, so we're going to switch now to the light gray wool. And, of course, if you can't, make sure to pause the video so you can catch up. Now, starting from the, let's say, these two stone blocks on the right side of it, so right there with the light gray wool, we're going to be placing four blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four. And let's make our way back up here, starting from the top block of the four light grays, so starting from this block. We're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three blocks diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light blue wool. There's going to be a lot of block switching. So with the light blue wool starting from, let's say, the left side of this light gray wool that we just placed, we're going to be placing one light blue wool. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. Now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. Or not the clay. <laughs> cyan wool. Cyan wool. Soft from the sheet. The cyan wool, we're going to head back down here, and we're going to start on, let's say right here, on top of the two light gray wools that we had going up on the right, so starting from there, with the cyan wool, we're going to be placing two blocks across to the left, so that's one, two, and now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left, that's one, and now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left, that's one, two. And it should look like this. Alright, so now we're going to be switching over to the lapis block. And with the lapis block, uh, we're going to move to these two light gray wheels going across. We're going to start underneath the right block by placing one lapis block there. And then we're going to be placing another block going down to the right at one. And now we're going to be placing four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And it should look like this. Next, we're going to be switching. We're going to be switching a lot of blocks in and out. Uh, let's see. How we're going to get organized a bit. Let me just put some of that away. All right, we're going to switch over to the blue wool now. And with the blue wool, we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the blue wool. So let's fill this in. So it should look like this. Then we're going to switch over to the lapis block, and we're going to be filling in, in this empty space here with the lapis. Fill this in. And then next, we're going to be switching over to the cyan wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan wool. It should look like that. Now we're going to be switching over to the lapis block again, and we're going to start down here. We're going to start uh, from underneath this light gray wool. That's part of the three that went to the right. So starting from there, we're just going to be placing one lapis block, so that's one. And now starting underneath this lapis block here, we're going to be adding three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to be switching over to the stone block. And with the stone block on the right side of these three, we're going to be adding another three stone blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light blue wool. And with the light blue wool, starting on top of the right block of these stones, so starting from there, uh, all we're going to be doing next is just tracing the outline going all the way up to the left, stopping underneath that white wool. So that's one, two, and three. Very simple. 
And once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan wall, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the cyan wall. So let's fill this in. And everything should look exactly like this so far. So now we're going to be switching over to the stone block again. And with the stone block, let's head back down here. Going back to these two light gray walls. Underneath it, we're going to be placing two stone blocks going down. So that's one, two. And now starting from the top block on the right side, underneath this lapis block, we're going to be placing one stone block there. So we have this upside down L shape. And once we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan stained clay. And with the cyan clay, we're going to be underneath these two stones. We're going to be adding two of the cyan clays going down. So that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. Now we're going to be switching over to the blue wool. And place one blue wool on top of this cyan clay. So that's one. Oh man, I am yawning. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Not from. I'm not yawning from boredom. I'm just yawning from exhausting. Not exhausting. I can't even speak. I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so let's switch over to the lapis block. Starting on top of this one blue wool. Starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across to the right. That's one, two. And now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the... Let's switch over to the white wool, because that's going to get annoying. So might as well get that out of the way. Let's switch over to the white wool. Starting on the right side of these two lapis blocks, so starting from there, we're going to be placing two whites going down, so that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing a linked two blocks going down on the left, so that's one and two, so it should look like that. Then we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's uh, one. And now starting underneath this one white block, we're going to be placing two whites going across to the left. So that's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And now place two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. Oops. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Now we're going to be switching over, let's say, to the light blue wool. And we're also going to be needing the stone block in just a bit, so we'll have that on standby. So let's switch over to the light blue wool, and we're going to start from down here, from the two whites, starting from the bottom block on the left side, so starting from there, we're going to be placing six blocks going across to the left with light gray. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, even though I might have called it light blue by accident before in the past. In the past by like a few seconds. Alright, so that's the light gray going across to the left. That's six. Um, now we're going to be moving back, let's say over here, because I want to get this part done. Uh, starting from the top block of these two whites, on the right side, we're going to be placing one light gray wall there. And then we're going to be placing another block going up to the right. So that's one. Now once you've done that, we're going to head back up here to these two whites that are on top of this light gray. Starting from the top, on the right, we're going to be placing one light gray wall, so that's one. And then we're going to be placing another block going up to the right, so that's one. And it should look like that. Now let's switch back over to the stone block. Let's head back down here to the first one light gray wall. Underneath it, we're going to be adding two stones going down, so that's one and two. Now once you've done that, we're gonna get head. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head back up here on the right side of this light gray wall. We're gonna be tracing all of this, all of this outline, going up to the right, and we're gonna stop underneath this white wall. So that's our stopping point there. We're gonna stop right there. So let's just trace the outline of this here with the stone, and it should look like that. 
Very simple. So now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the are you the lapis block. Let's head back down here to these two stone blocks. Underneath it, we're going to be placing three lapis blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. Now we're going to head back up here, and we're going to trace this outline of stone, and we're going to stop on the right side of it by placing just a one lapis block there. So that's our stopping point. We're not going to go past it. Let's trace the outline here, the lapis block, and it should look like that. Now we're going to be switching over to the, let's say, light gray wool again. And we're going to start on top of this lapis block. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks, or we're, no, starting from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be switching, let's say, to the lapis block. And place one lapis block on top of the right block of these two light grays. So put one lapis block there. And then switch over to the cyan wool. And we're going to be placing one cyan wool going up to the right. So that's one. And we're going to switch over to the light blue wool and place a light blue wool on the right side of it. So that's one. And then we're going to switch over to the stone block, and we're going to be placing one stone block next to it on the right side of the light blue, so put one stone block there. And we're going to switch back over to the uh, the light blue wall, there we go. Starting on top of the la uh, not lapis, but stone block. Sorry, there's a lot of block switching. Starting on top of the stone block, we're going to be placing three blocks going up with light blue, so that's one, two, three. And we're going to switch back over to the cyan, starting on top of this one light blue wool. We're going to be placing three cyans going up, so that's one, two, three. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block, starting on top of this one uh, cyan wool. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two stone blocks going up, so that's one, two. And now we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the stone block. Let's fill those in. Next, we're going to switch over to the light blue wool, or not light blue wool, what is wrong with you, Felix? <laughs> light gray wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray wool. So let's fill that in. And I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. So now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to move down here, and we're going to switch over to the stone block. We're going to head back down here to the first two cyan clays that we had going across. On top of it, we're going to be placing one stone block on the right side of it. So that's one. And then we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing six stone blocks going to diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And now that we got that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan wool. Let's head down here on top of this stone block next to these two lapis, or I should say next to these three lapis. Uh, right there, we're going to be placing two cyan wools going up. So that's one, two. And once we've done that, we're going to head all the way up here to the top right corner of this empty space. And on top, uh, or I should say underneath the left block of these two light grays, we're going to be putting one cyan wool there. Then we're going to switch over to the light blue wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light blue wool. And then once you've done that, we're going to be tracing the outline of this cyan wool, and or the cyan clay, and the stone block stopping next to this cyan wool. So in other words, just trace the outline of this here, going all the way down, and it should look exactly like this. With a with a mishap of uh, of just <laughs> I don't know looking exactly like that. All right, and I just realized. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoops! I said six blocks, right? That's one, two, three, four, five. Silly Felix didn't add the six. My mistake. So, boom, six. I was wondering why this looked weird. 
Alright, so that's 6. So if you play 6, that's fine, you're doing everything correctly. It's just that I accidentally placed 5, but I just corrected myself. So I'll fly back a bit before we continue, just in case I confused any of you. Let's so go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare, making sure it looks exactly like this. Alright, now we're going to switch over to the cyan wall, and we're going to be filling in the remaining small space here with the cyan wall. Let's fill this in. There we go. Okay, so now that we have most of the bluish part, the background of this little crest, I would call it. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, we're going to switch over to... Doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll start working our way from the bottom, and then we'll work our way up. We're going to head back down here. This time we're going to go up uh, the left side of it. So we're going to switch over to the stone block for this. Let's head over to the stone block. And now we're going to move over here to the left side and starting on top of these two black walls. So one, two. We'll just place two stone blocks like this. Once you've done that, we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal up to the left. So two diagonal. That's one, two. And once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. And starting on top of the left block of these two stones that we had going across here on the top of the left we're going to be adding four light grays going up so that's one two three four and now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right that's one two and now place a linked two blocks going up on the right that's one two Now we're going to switch over to the blue wool, and we're going to be placing one blue wool underneath these two light grays. So let's, uh, let's put one blue wool there. And then we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the lapis block. And with the lapis block, we're going to be starting on top of these two like gray wools that started or that was on top of these two blue wools here so starting from here we're going to be placing three lapis blocks going up so that's one two three and now we're going to be placing one block going up to the left that's uh, one and then place two blocks diagonal down to the left so two diagonal that's one and two Let's get rid of those placement blocks. Now that you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the light gray wall. And we're going to head back down here, back to where we had the four light grays. And moving to the left, on top of this stone block, we're going to be placing one light gray, so that's one. And then place two blocks going up on the left, that's one, two. Now switch over to the white wool. We're going to move over here to the left by one block and starting on top of these two black walls. So from there with the white wool, we're going to be placing two blocks going up. That's one, two. Now we're going to be switching back over to the light gray wool and on top of the two white walls here. So from there, we're going to be adding six light gray wools going up. So, whoops, accidentally deleted that one. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now place five blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And since we're up here, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. Let's switch over to the white wool. Starting on the right side of this light gray wool here, starting from there, we're going to be adding six white wools going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to head back over here, starting underneath the left block of these six white wools. So starting from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. 
and now place two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. Now we're going to head back all the way up here, back to the right block of these six white walls. White walls, we're going to, let's see, switch over to the lapis block, and we're going to be putting one lapis block on top of the right, so put one block there. And then we're going to be placing one block going up to the left from it, so that's one. Now let's switch over to the blue wall. Starting on the left side of this lapis block here, we're going to be placing two blues going across to the left, so that's one, two. Then we'll move back down here to this lapis block on the left side of it. We're going to be placing two blocks going across to the left, so that's one, two, three, or four blocks. That's one, two, three, four. That's my mistake. The top one here, two blocks to the left, not right, but, and the bottom here, two blocks to the left. Human error, that's fine. So again, it should look like this. Very simple. Nice little pyramid going on. Uh, now we're going to be switching over. Let's see. We're going to switch over to the stone block because I want to close this area off. Let's head back down here to these two whites. On top of it, we're going to be placing three stone blocks going up. That's one, two, three. Now starting from the top block on the right side of it, we're going to be placing one stone block. So that's one. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. On the right side of this stone block, we're going to be placing four light grays going across to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Now once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the light gray wall. And with the light gray wall, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the light gray wool. So let's fill that in. There we go. And while we're at it, let's fly all the way back down here, back to the left side. Uh, we're going to switch over to the white wall, and we're going to come up here to this empty space. And we're going to fill this here with the white wall, so fill that in with white. And once you've done that, we're going to switch over to the snow block for just a sec. Switching over to the snow block, we're going to fill in this empty space here with the snow, so fill that in. And we can go ahead and put away the snow block away for now. Come back to it later. I'm not sure where I got it from. Was it here? It was somewhere. I'm not sure. Alright, so... Alright, it's going to kill me that I don't know. I think it was here. If we're going by... There we go. Alright, so we're going to switch over to the the lapis block, and we're going to fill in this empty space here with the lapis. So let's fill this in. There we go. And now we should start closing off more areas so we can fill them in. Uh, we're going to make up your goddamn mind, Felix. Oh, my God. Alright. We're going to switch over to the light gray wool, and we're going to head back up here, back to where we had these three white wools going down. Underneath it, we're going to be placing one light gray wool. Let's put one block there. And one, then uh, we're going to head, let's see, we're going to head over here to the left of it, and go up here to these two light gray wools. We're going to switch over to the stone block, and underneath these two light gray wools here, we're going to add two, or not two, three stone blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going to be placing one block going down to the right, so that's one. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray wall, and on the left side of this one stone block, we're going to be placing one light gray wall there, so that's one. And then from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right, so that's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So, that's one, two. And now place two blocks diagonal up to the right. So, two diagonal. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. 
So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be switching over to the lapis block and starting from the top block on the left side of these two light grays. So from there, we're going to be placing two lapis blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. And then place one block underneath the left block of these two. So place one block there. Now we're going to be switching over to the blue wool. And with the blue wool, we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here. That's one, two, three. We're going to be filling those in with the blue wool. So let's do that now. So there we go. And everything should look exactly like this so far. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. And with the white wool, let's head back down here, back to where we had these two light gray wools going across that started from that one light gray wool. On the right side of these two light grays, so starting from there with the white, we're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to switch over to the stone block, and with the stone, let's head back up here to these two whites, or not whites, but these two light gray wools. Underneath the right block, in other words, the available block here, underneath it, we're going to be placing one stone block, so that's one. And now let's switch over to the light gray wool, and underneath this stone block, we're going to be placing three light gray wools going down, so that's one, two, and three. Now once that made contact, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to switch over to the stone block, and you can see that it made contact with these six uh, light grays going across. We're going to start underneath the left block of these six. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going down. So that's one, two, and three. Now that we have those three blocks, we're going to switch over to the blue wool. Starting from the top block of these three on the right side, we're going to be placing one blue wool. So that's one. And now that we've got that, we're going to switch over to the light uh, light gray wool. We're going to head down here, and we're going to be placing one light gray wool underneath these three stone blocks. So place one light gray wool there. Now we're going to switch over to the white wool, and we're going to be placing one white wool on the left side of this light gray. So put one white wool there. Now starting underneath this block, we're going to be placing three blocks going across the right. That's one, two, three. And now starting underneath the middle block of these three whites, so starting from the here, there, right there, we're going to be placing three whites going down. So that's one, two, and three. Now I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. So go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Okay, so now we're going to be switching over to the lapis block, and with the lapis block, we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the lapis, so let's fill that in. Next, we're going to be switching over to the white wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the white. Let's fill that in. And then after that, we're going to be switching over to the blue wool, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the blue wool. So let's fill this in. And it should look like this. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, we're going to be switching over, let's say, switch back over to the white wool. Do some last white wool outlining. And we're going to go back to these three blocks here, going across, starting from the right block of it. So starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal up to the right at one and two. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Now we're going to switch over to the cyan wall. Let's head back down here, starting on top of the right block of these three whites here. So starting from there, we're going to be placing three of them going up to the right, going diagonal. That's one, two, three. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the lapis block, and we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the lapis. So fill that in. And it should look like this. 
very nice and simple. We're getting it through most of this. Hopefully, we'll get some of this area done as well. <laughs> Even though I did promise about 30 to 45 minutes, when it comes to these larger ones, I know you guys want a little longer than just 30. So that's what I'm providing you. But shh, don't tell everyone. Okay, so let's see. What we're going to be doing next to make this easier to instruct. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and start from the bottom down here. So for this next part, we're going to switch over to the cyan wool. And let's head back down here on top of, I guess this is the remaining empty space down here. So let's go all the way down here to the right, so starting from there. With the cyan wool, we're going to be placing four of them going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now let's switch over to the lapis block. Let's start down here again on top of this cyan clay. So starting from there with the lapis block, we're going to be placing five of them going diagonal up to the right. So five diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to switch over to the stone block. And starting on top of this lapis block here, we're going to be placing four stones diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be switching over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to be filling in these three empty spaces here with light gray. Let's fill those in. And then we're also going to be placing one light gray wool on, to uh, on top of this stone block here. So put one light gray wool there on top of that. And then we're going to be switching over to the cyan clay. And we're going to be placing one cyan clay on top of this lapis block here. So put one block there. And switch over to the stone block and place a stone block on top of this cyan clay here. Let's put one block there. And once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. And we're going to be filling in this empty space here with the white wool. So let's fill that in. And it should look exactly like this. Let's go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to be moving up here to the remaining empty space, which isn't going to take long at all to fill in with detail, because it's just kind of like a, an area we're just going to fill in with a good amount of just blue. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the blue wool. Let's uh, start down here to the bottom right, on top of the right block of these six light gray wools. We're going to be placing one blue wool, so that's one. And then we're going to switch over to the stone block, and on the left side, we're going to be placing four stone blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we're going to be switching back over to the blue wool, and we're going to be placing four blue wools on top of these four stone blocks. So that's one, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch over to the lapis block. Starting on top of the left block of these four blue wools, so starting from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up with lapis, so that's one, two, three. And then we're going to be placing five blocks diagonal up to the right, so five diagonal, that's one, two, three, four, and five. And it should be making contact with the stone blocks up there. And now that we have that, we're going to be switching over to the cyan wool. And with the cyan wool, we're going to head down here again. This time, we're going to start on top of this white wool here. So starting from there, all we're going to be doing from here is just placing one cyan wool. So just put one block there. Next, we're going to be placing three sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. And with the light gray wool, we're going to move up here. And underneath these two cyan clays, we're going to be placing one light gray wool. Let's put one block there. Then we're going to switch over to the cyan wool. And we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the cyan wool. So fill those in. Then we're going to switch over to the blue wool. We're going to head over here to the left, and we're going to be filling in these four empty spaces here. Not this large one, but these four over here to the left of the lapis block. So these four empty spaces get filled in with the blue wool. So let's fill that in. And it should look like that. 
And now we're going to be switching over to the lapis block. And with the lapis block, we're going to be filling in the remaining empty space that's here with the lapis block. So let's just fill in this empty space. And we would be granted with the power of ice or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's not like that. It doesn't work like that. But still, you got the symbol. You got his clan symbol done. Even though it took us an entire part. I'm debating on whether or not to continue this part. But you know what? Since you guys have been waiting patiently for this next part, why not? Why not start on this next part? So again, I'll fly back over here real quick just to give you a full view of his symbol. And you can go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. Okay, so now we're going to get away from this area, and we're going to start working on this. So to do that, we're going to get to... we're going to need to get a little organized. So I'm going to be putting every single block away, so I know exactly... Oh, which type of blocks I'm going to be needing. There we go, all organized. So, first we're going to be needing the obsidian block. Let's start it off, all simple. And we're going to be working at the bottom right corner of this empty space here. So starting from there, we're just going to... Starting from here, really. So starting from here, we're just going to be tracing the outline of this black wool, going all the way up. And we're going to stop underneath these three black wools by placing two obsidians just like going like that just going up so we're gonna stop there so again let's head all the way back over here to our starting point and i really need to turn off mobs so those annoying creatures can go away so let's just trace the outline like this with the obsidian block very simple and easy so we have that now and now that we've got that, we're going to head back all the way up here now. And we're going to go to the right side of this empty space, going all the way up, but going down here to the right. Underneath these two black walls, we're going to be placing two blocks uh, going across to the left. So that's one, two. So we have it like this. Now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Uh, that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing seven blocks diagonal up to the left. So seven diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to be placing two blocks diagonal down to the left. So two diagonal. That's one and two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going down to the left. That's one. Now we're going to head back up here. And we're going to be filling in these two empty spaces here with the obsidian block. So let's fill those in. And it should look like this. Now let's head all the way back down here going down to the right. We're going to be switching over to the blue wool. And we're going to fill in this empty space here with the blue wool. So fill that in. Now we'll switch over to the obsidian block. Starting from the top block of these two black wools that are making contact with the blue wool. So starting from the top block on the left, we're going to be placing one obsidian block there. Now this is going to be our starting point because we're going to be tracing the outline of this black wool going all the way up. And we're going to stop underneath the right block of these two obsidian blocks here. So let's get back down here and we're going to be tracing the outline with the obsidian and it should look like that okay now it comes for the slightly annoying heart at least it's always slightly annoying for me because i have to instruct it to make sure it comes out crystal clear uh let's switch over to the lapis block and with the lapis block, why don't we start all the way down here, work our way up. Let's go all the way back down here. Let's go to these three obsidian blocks here. And if you look up to the right, you can see these two obsidian blocks going up. We're going to connect these two by placing one lapis block going up to the right in between them. So that's one. And it should look like that. And while we're down here, let's just fill in this empty space here with the blue wool. Let's fill that in. Now we're going to switch over to the, let's say, uh, placement block. And starting on the left side of this uh, lapis block with the placement block, right there we're going to be placing two lapis blocks going up. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch over to the lapis block. 
or that's placement blocks going up. So with the black, <laughs> oh, I'm just a mess. We're gonna be putting one lapis block on top of the two placement blocks, and then we're gonna be placing one lapis block down here to the left. So that's one. So we have a total of two right here. Let's get rid of the placement blocks, and it should look like that. Now, starting from the left, uh, the left of these two. So starting from this block here. We're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. And now starting on top of the right block of these two lapis blocks, starting from this block, we're going to be placing five blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now place one block going up to the left. That's one. And now three blocks going up on the left. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to switch over to the placement block, and we're going to be putting a placement block on the left side of this lapis block. So put one placement block there. Then switch back over to the lapis, starting on the left side of this placement block. Starting from there, we're going to be placing three of these blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. And let's get rid of the placement blocks. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. Now let's head back up here to the right, starting from this lapis block. We're going to be placing four of them going diagonal down to the right. So four diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's get rid of the placements. Let's head back down here. And we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to switch sides going down to the left. We're going to be placing two sets of threes going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Let's get rid of those. Let's head back down here. And we're going to be placing five blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now to close this off, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. And it should look like this. Making contact with the top block of the right block of those five lapis blocks that we had there. So now we're going to be switching over to the blue wool. Now with the blue wool starting on the left side of this one lapis block that we just placed. So starting from here, we're going to be placing two blues going up. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. Now that we've done that, we're going to head back over here to the left. Let's go to these two lapis blocks going across. Starting on the right side of it, we're going to be placing one blue wool. So that's one. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now place one block going up to the right. That's one. And now place two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. And then we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one.
So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be doing this same pattern here of the 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. But first, we're going to head back down here to our starting point, and we're going to start from these two lapis blocks here. Starting on the right side of it, starting from there, we're going to be pla uh, placing one blue wool, so that's one. Now, once you've done that, Starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks, one block, two blocks, one block, two blocks, one blocks, etc. Same thing we did right here, and we should stop at this lapis block here by connecting it to just one blue wool. So let's head back down here, and let's do that now. The pattern of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one. And it should connect to that one lapis block there. Just to save us some time, let's get rid of the placement blocks now. And if you didn't understand that, I'll fly back a bit so you can see. And it should look exactly like this. Okay, so now we're going to head back down here. And this time, we're going to... Let's see. This one's actually going to be a little different, so I'm going to have to go back up here. Uh, let's go back up here to this lapis block that connected to the blue wall. And we're going to move up to the next lapis block, up to the left. So we're going to move to this block here. And on the left side of the lapis block, we're going to be placing one blue wool. So that's one. And then we're going to be placing one blue wool going down to the left. So that's one. And it should look like this. And now, starting from this blue wool, we can go ahead and do the pattern of going 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, going down to the left. So that's 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1. And the one blue wool should be making contact with this lapis block down here. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. Okay, now we're going to head down, yeah, let's go down here, back to this lapis block that made contact with the blue wool. We're going to switch over to a placement block, put a placement block on top of that lapis block. Once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the blue wool. On top of this placement block, we're going to be placing two blues going up. So that's one, two. Now let's get rid of the placement block. Now once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to continue the pattern going up to the right. We're going to be going one block, two blocks, one block, two blocks, one block, two blocks, etc. So let's start off by placing one block going up to the right. So that's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And it should end with two blocks going up. So now let's get rid of the placements. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that everything should look exactly like this so far. Again, make sure to pause the video if you, now if you have to, just to compare. Alright, so what we're going to be doing next is switching over to the blue wall. Let's head all the way back up here to the top left corner, back to these three lapis blocks that we had going, going down to the left. So going back to these three lapis blocks, you can see in between uh, them going to the right, these two empty spaces here. We're going to be filling these two here with blue wool. So just fill this and this with blue wool. So it should look like that. And we can also go over here to the left, and we can also fill this single space here with the blue wool. Let's go ahead and fill that in. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now, what we're going to be doing next is time-lapsing this part because you don't need to see me fill this in. All right, so this, if you take a good look at it, we made kind of like a, a barrier within this empty space made out of lapis. You see this? You see that there is just this barrier, this outline of lapis block. Outside of this lapis block outline, so in between the, uh, the lapis block, the obsidian block, and a little bit of the black wool. So in other words, this empty space that I'm tracing right now, everything outside the lapis block here, all of this gets filled in with the blue wool. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the lapis block, and you're going to be filling in everything in here inside the lapis block outline. 
all of these small empty spaces here get filled in with the lapis block. So again, to repeat, the outside outlining of the lapis block, so outside surrounding it, gets filled in with the blue wool. And then inside of the lapis blocks, all of these small empty spaces, gets filled in with lapis. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So we didn't get to this empty spot. That's fine. We'll leave that for the next part. And down here, this is going to be much easier. It's going to be much easier than this. In fact, this down here might take uh, about the same time or even less than the symbol took. So don't worry about it. And the next part, we're finally going to be finished with the right side of Sub-Zero. And then we'll be able to continue on, finally, with more black wool outlining and eventually get to the mask. And we'll eventually get this pixel art done. I also want to say thank you to all of you guys who have been watching and completing the pixel arts lately. Uh, recently, I've noticed that I've finally reached 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, so it's pretty epic. I plan on making a very special video for my 50,000 uh, subscribers, I guess, since I accomplished it. But hey, we're not going to stop at 50,000. We're going to continue making more pixel art tutorials, more pixel art time lapse, all those stuff, and even taking your requests and making them. So again, with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next part of the Sub-Zero Pixel Art tutorial, and make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.